over the decades Dirajda has developed his style and he has also developed his themes he comes from a rural background he was born in 1936 in the present day bangladesh and in the rural surroundings where he grew up the simplicity of life which he encountered there still continues to live with him having witnessed certain moments of history like the partition and he himself having to move out and settle in calcutta where years which remain with him and it is his emotional reaction to the humanity around him which has made him depict these themes in his art so in that respect empathy which lies at the very core of his artistic commitment is what basically defines his style his visual language and his approach to making art so it's just not themes but there is also diverse mediums that he has used he has worked with watercolors acrylics oils and then extended the same into making bronze sculptures tile paintings even embroidery as the kantha work when we come to the style of dirajda that is where sometimes you know the viewer finds it a little baffling how does one look at his works how does one appreciate his work and how does one say what is it that i have got from the work when a viewer looks at the work of art of dirajda there are two important elements which stands out as i said earlier it is line and then the other one is the color line is very very important line becomes the main protagonist line is the one which carries the angst and the burden of the artist so the line plays a variety of roles it is decorative it is narrative it is descriptive it is emotional it is philosophical and line as a protagonist thus defines the very contours of his art next comes the color his colors are brilliant they are vivid they are dramatic it has intense chroma and these colors have been influenced from his teacher gopal ghosh so the vibrancy that one sees in the color is also the vibrancy which he sees in the life around him and then you know how he translates that vibrancy through his composition making use of the human forms since he, empathy is at the very core of his artistic practice you know which contours also his imagination and imagination as one philosopher has said is many voices in the head and it is these many voices it is his imagination and his perceptions the way he interprets the world around him is what is most important and his interpretation of the world is very emotional it is with feelings he reaches out because he wants to show the inequalities the asymmetries in the society the turbulence that is there the political violence especially you know he takes up the causes for the women and all of these aspects have remained the very basis of his art of course when he started his career uh, it was mainly the rich rural landscapes which he painted in oils and watercolors and then in the 70s he was very much involved with designs and then as the 80s approached that is where the shift happened and it was almost a paradigm shift where he wanted to depict the sufferings of the humanity around him and that is how he began to look at his society his culture the political milieu and then found resonance within him and that is how it gets reflected in his art it is this signature style which has remained with him consistently over many decades of his working so it is very easy you know to point out and say yes this is dirajda's work because of his visual language which he has employed